In this video, we're going to be looking at exponents and square roots. The definition of a to the n, let a represent a real number and n a positive integer, then a raised to the n is equal to a times a times a n times. The exponent n is the number of times a base a is a factor. So in 1, it wants us to evaluate each expression. And we have 4 squared, or 4 raised to the second power. And we could rewrite that as 4 times 4. 4 is the base, and it has two factors. And 4 times 4 is equal to 16. In B, we have 3 cubed. And we could write that as 3 times 3 times 3. The base is 3, and it has 3 factors. And this is equal to 3 times 3 is equal to 9 times 3 is equal to 27. In C, we have 1 half raised to the fourth power. So our base is 1 half, and we're going to write four factors of 1 half. So we're going to have 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And then we have 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. In D, we have 3 over 5 raised to the third power. So our base is 3 fifths, and we have 3 factors of it. So we're going to have 3 fifths times 3 fifths times 3 fifths. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. We saw that above. And 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 is 125. And now we're going to take a look at absolute value. When you have absolute value signs around a number, we're always going to output the positive number. So we have the absolute value of 6 is equal to 6. And in B, we have the absolute value of negative 144. And the absolute value of negative 144 is 144. In 3, we want to evaluate each expression. In A, we have the square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is equal to 5. And this is because 5 squared is equal to 25. So when you're taking a square root, you need to find a number that times itself gives you the number inside the radical, inside the square root, and that becomes your answer. So 5 times 5, or 5 squared, is equal to 25. So we took a 5 out of the square root. In B, we have the square root of 1 over 9. And that can be written as 1 third. And 1 third squared is equal to 1 ninth. So that shows how I found the 1 third. In C, we have the square root of 36 divided by 49, and that's equal to 6 over 7. And if you were to take 6 over 7 and square it, we would get back to 36 over 49. And that's our video on exponents and square roots.